Emory Company raised slow-growing chickens entirely on pasture, uh, focusing on fair farming partnerships and using regenerative farming methods. Emory Company is bringing the best tasting, healthiest foods to the dinner table. Jesse Solomon founded Emory Company to rebuild our agricultural system by starting with the right pasture raised sources. Jesse is an accomplished entre entrepreneur and investor. His first company, Folklear, was acquired in 2014. Prior to launching his own ventures, Jesse established a Middle East office for an international hedge fund and spearheaded HSBC's efforts to enter new emerging markets. Toward the end of his time abroad, he focused on sustainable agriculture opportunities in Ethiopia. Please welcome Jesse Solomon, founder and CEO. So I learned how to hunt and fish and I walked the walk. And I kept thinking, you know, how do we scale this experience up for more people? You know, I never had to ask if that deer was organic or that pig was free range or those crabs sustainably fished. I knew where they came from. And I had this simple thought that the big food companies are the best at getting the worst food to the most people at the cheapest price. Naively, I thought, well, why can't we do that, but with the best food? Well, where to begin? So I was hunting my own food, or my own meat at least, um, and I wanted to scale up that as close to wild experience with those regenerative practices I saw abroad for as many people as possible. So show of hands, in the last uh, seven days, who has eaten or fed their children a piece of chicken? All right. That worked out. <laughs> um, so it should come as no surprise, chicken is the number one protein eaten in this country. There are over nine billion chickens sold every year and the US industry is valued at over $30 billion. And it is a really terrible industry, but I'm not here to scare you, that's what Netflix documentaries are for. <laughs> I'm here to show you some possibilities. The market is really massive. Globally, it's over $100 billion. In the US alone, it's over 30. And the organic and premium attribute market is growing. It's now over $3 billion. And for every plant-based alternative that gets a lot of publicity, it's really important to remember that these large ag companies are not going away. Tyson, JBS, Cargill, and now Costco has invested $400 million into their own chicken company to in-house their rotisserie program. But they only care about that model because it's scalable and it works. If we can show them a different path to scalable, we really can change everything. 
So how do we do this? How do we scale up an alternative production model for how chicken is grown in this country? One that provides the ultimate animal welfare with environmental practices that improve the environment, in, you know, grow healthier soil, and sequester more carbon. This is why I started Emmering Community. Our mission statement is uncompromised scaled agriculture. We produce delicious, healthy, balanced growth herbs raised 100% on pasture or pasture only with transparent and regenerative practices. So to give you a little details on this, pasture raised means our birds live their entire lives outside on pastures in solar powered mobile houses that we physically move through the fields that we distribute their manure benefits across the pasture. And balanced growth chickens are the best tasting and healthiest birds because of their activity and foraging. And it's the combination of these two practices, mobile structures that move through a field and balanced growth chickens foraging that deliver the best flavor and ultimate net positive environmental benefits. This is a little about our history. Uh, we've been around since 2014. We were founder funder back then. Uh, during that period, we built our market and supply chain working with independent farmers. Last year, we raised our first outside financing round, 500,000 from Seed Invest and the remainder from Angels. Since then, we've built our first company farm. 100% of our production now comes from our own operations and we've, uh, we've created a model that can actually scale with farmers. We actually have better than industry production metrics, and we're gonna hit a revenue run rate of 1.4 million this year, and we'll be cash flow positive. And this is our farm. Uh, in four months, we built a fully operational pasture-raised chicken operation. And our team is amazing. The photo has some of our, 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 our folks there. We have Jerry, who has over 40 years in agriculture, experience in, in production and sales. We have Mike uh, in the red, who's our veterinarian and resident chicken whisperer. He has decades of experience in the industry. We just hired another production manager, so our team is four full-time right now and five part-time contractors. And these houses, these are the production model that I'm talking about. They're amazing and scalable. They're solar powered, they're internet connected, they have automatic uh, equipment inside of them which reduces our labor cost, and they're movable through the pasture. In terms of traction, we've had some phenomenal uptake. We've been featured in some of the best restaurants in the country, French Laundry, Meadowood, Slanted Door. We've even done uh, events at James Beard House in New York. Uh, we have many distributors that want to work with us and a huge sales pipeline. And we've even had an early acquisition offer from the largest independent meat company in the country. <coughs> so imagine if we had the resources of Costco, what we could do to scale a different path. You know, our kids might actually never know a different food system and amazing pasture-raised meats that improve the environment. Thank you for listening, and hopefully I've left you with a little taste of what's possible. What's proprietary? What's impossible to replicate, either by model or legally candid? So the large chicken companies have built their entire supply chain around a barn-based production model where it's all about the highest yield and the least amount of inputs. So they, they literally cannot like rejigger their entire operation because they're often operating on pretty thin margins and they're multi, you know, hundreds, some of them are hundreds of billions of dollars in business. So the proprietary thing of what we've developed is really the production methodology as well as the systems themselves and how it all works. It's actually, to, get, to give you a sense of how complicated some of this was, so it might not seem like a big deal to have a solar powered house in the middle of the field, but we actually brood our chickens out there. So when a chickens are brooded, they have to maintain a temperature of 90 degrees. So we're able in the middle of the field throughout all weather to maintain that brooding environment. Um, so it's pretty special. And you can protect all of this IP, so to speak? We can, yeah. As of now, we're focused much more on just growth and scale and expanding our production base. And right now, again, the alternative options that people have, it's your conventional options. I mean, one of our customers that's going to be a customer soon is Google. And if I had to ask you guys, where does 99% of their chicken come from? What, which company might you say? Tyson. Tyson. 
So even for the people who speak the loudest about wanting to source the best, they don't because they don't have another option. So. Buy a couple of times in the last year and we're worried about the energy business. And so believe it or not, a lot of those kind of leasing companies are looking to invest in these kind of things. Would you find that problematic? Big I mean, I'm yeah. focused on the outcome and the goals that we're trying to achieve. And if those kind of partners could help us change the poultry industry, I'm all for it. 